Wilson. I'm back again today with a really pretty floral card. I'm going to show you how to use some of the new dies from our Austrian collection and come up with a gorgeous stacked detailed card like this. So to introduce the dies that we'll be using today, we have got both of the delicate daisies, the open petals and the complete petals, and we're going to be using them together so you can see how pretty they look together. The petite vinery is just going to add a little bit of an accent. If you notice, there's a left and a right facing on this die set. And the star of the show is the Innsbruck from the Austrian collection. It is really stunning. Wait till you see it. Now, I'm going to do my die cutting first, and this Innsbruck set has a really pretty outside oval with some detail to it. It's got a separate cutting edge, so we can actually cut this out of the card without taking it away from the card, so I really like that. So I'm going to just line this up in place, and using a little bit of my removable tape, just center it exactly where I want it, and tape it into place bring over our cutting plate and top it with the base plate and we're going to run it through. Now it doesn't matter which direction you put these through the um, grand caliber, as long as your die, the cutting edge of your die is facing into the cutting plate, you're absolutely fine. So you can see that gorgeous, gorgeous detail has been cut out quite simply. So I'm going to just remove the tape from it, take it out and show it to you, tap out the little extra bits, there we go, see how pretty that is, it's going to serve as a really nice frame for our focal element. Now I'm going to do some matting and layering with the darker color below it, so I've got the cobalt blue card here, and we're just going to use some um, cosmic shimmer glue around the edge here since it's got quite a tight little edge around that. That should work nicely. Center that onto my card, and I apologize for leaning into your shot a little bit, just to make sure I've got it nice and straight. There we go. So you can see it really does show it up nicely now. And I've gone ahead, ahead of time, and I've done a little bit of matting and layering using some taupe card with the cobalt blue, and then I've used milk card in here to do my piercing layers and whatnot. So mounting foam on the back of this, I'm going to raise it for a little bit of dimension. Really will give it that stair-stepped look that's so pretty on your cards. And I'm going to pop that right down in the middle there. So you can see we're kind of building up those layers really, really nicely. Now, I have gone ahead and cut the Innsbruck die and used the outer cutting edge and one of the inner cutting edge, so you see that beautiful detail. Look how absolutely stunning that is. And I'm going to mat that with the same blue. So we will use our uh, Cosmic Shimmer glue once again and a little bit around the edge. Try and keep it nice and light. It doesn't take much. And then around the outside here. And you can just put a little bit on some of the more strategic spots to hold it down, like right there, maybe. There, it's a little bit thicker. So, and if you've got any really big spots of glue, just kind of tap it around, it won't squish out. So, pop that onto my blue background, and let me just get it nice and lined up for you. Straight and even but I want to cut a center in that. And because it's more difficult to cut it ahead of time and then try and line it up, because you might have it off a little bit, we'll go ahead and cut it now that it's glued together. So I'm going to take the center I used, just re-register it back into the same area, tape it into place, and let's use one more piece here on the other side. Make sure it stays, and we're going to run that through. Now I've also got a piece of the fine binary I'm going to be using, so I think I'll just see if I can pop that in at the same time and cut it. It's very detailed, so I think what I'll do is I'll put that to the back there. It might need one more pass, but we'll just see. Run that through the machine. And 
let's see how we've done. Okay, so this one is cut nicely. Peel that removable tape off, and then you want to just save that. You can use it later and put this back onto your magnetic sheet so it's not lost. And this one looks like it's cut nicely too, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's just do a little popping out with our pokey tool. Make sure we don't have to pass it through one more time. It's got a lot of little curly bits to it. Yeah, I think it's good. It's falling out there, in fact. You can pop that right out of there. There we go. Oops. How pretty is that? Absolutely lovely. Okay, so I've got that I can use. So I'm going to put a little bit of mounting foam on the back of this to give it some dimension. So let me just do some cutting here. In fact, we can go ahead and take both sides of that off. That one. And we can do these too. In fact, I'll cut this down the center and we can just put those right in place. Doesn't need too much. Okay, so I can put that right into the previous um, frame that we've cut. So pretty. So you've got that nice stair step still going up right there. And I've stamped a sentiment. I've just gone ahead and gone with congratulations because I think that works for a lot of cards. And put a little bit of mounting foam on the back here. I'm going to tuck the end of that under there. And I tell you what, I think that needs to be a tiny bit shorter. Let's try that a little bit. Just kind of eyeball it a little bit there. I think that'll work. So it's popping out the edge there. And I went ahead and did a few of the flowers from the Delicate Daisies. Now this is one of the larger ones and I've got some of these singles here. Let me just pick these up and we'll put them together. So I've done the open with the closed or the uh, complete petal there and I've done two of each of them. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the center and let's just offset them. So you've got a really, really pretty little flower there. I'll do these two and I think they just need a little pearl for the center of them so we'll use a Larger one here, do a smaller one here. Got an eight millimeter cream pearl for the middle of that larger one. And we'll use one of the five millimeter pearls for the center of the smaller one. Right there. I've tied a double bow with the Silky Crush uh, ribbon in the navy blue there. So I'm using a little glue dot. I'm going to attach this over to the side. I think that's really pretty like that. And a little bit of a jute bow. I think sometimes having something a uh, completely different type of a material on top of your bows just draws a little more interest in. So I love the way this looks. So I'm going to put that on top there and we'll just kind of spread the loops a little bit for you. And add on top of that in the very center one of the large flowers. Now if you do a little bit of forming with your petals here, it can bring it to life. And I just like to shape it around my finger a tiny bit. Pop that on top of that one with a glue dot. That's ready to go. Now with our vinery, I'm just going to have a tiny bit of this sticking out. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to nip it right here. You can use that for something else. And I did one earlier going the other direction. So we're going to nip it a little bit. And we'll just add a little bit of glue onto the back of that. Pop this one this direction. A little bit of glue on this one and we'll just kind of have that going downward a little bit like that. And I think we can finish this off with some flowers. Glue dot in the middle and there again a little bit of forming really brings these to life. Even on the small ones. Just kind of bend it around with your thumbnail. You can also use a, a, a styling, um, a mat with a stylus to give it some form if you like. Right into place there. 
and adding a few flat back pearls in the corners to finish that off. I think you have a really stunning card that any recipient would just adore receiving. Really enjoyed having you here with the video today. I'm hoping you enjoyed it too. Bye-bye.